Uh, now I'd like to welcome on board Index Startup Arena for Industry 4.0, Lena Miranda, the CEO of Lin Shopping Science Park. Uh, Lena, I hand this over to you to listen to this fantastic session on the future and, and how you will connect the Swedish um, big industries to the Indian startup ecosystem. Thank you. Uh, so, um I will start by introducing just the concept of index so that you know what we're talking about. And then I will introduce the panel and we will have a brief discussion. So if I can have the next slide, please. Yes, this is index and uh, we can have the next one. Also. So this initiative was uh, actually uh, started in 2020 during the pandemics. Uh, and it, it was initiated by four corporates in East Sweden, Östergötland, where we come from, uh, which are uh, Saab, uh, and today Saab Aeronautics, Toyota Material Handling uh, Europe, uh, with Hans Larsson, we had Siemens Energy and Väderstä, who came together and we had some kind of benchmark in the region, looking at each other's uh, technology roadmaps and innovation strategies. And this collaboration took the next step in actually uh, starting a, a collaboration where we wanted to meet startups uh, in a broader uh, uh, phase. So um, the collaboration uh, started off with a day that we called Proof of Concept Day. And startups could apply for this day and get the chance to pitch their ideas for the four companies. Um, and in, in the case that the companies liked it, they could have a proof of concept project, which we will come back to. Uh, and the focus areas of the uh, collaboration is connectivity, uh, autonomy, and sustainability. And we can have the next slide. Just to show you what the process looks like today, we have a um, monthly application that are reviewed by competence teams that are put together by employees from the four different companies. So we get a very broad range of employees in Saab, Toyota, Siemens and Väderstad that can really look at the solutions, the technology that the startups uh, can uh, offer and see if there's a match into the companies and the needs of the companies. So we have this ongoing application process, and then we have four pitch days a year. Uh, every pitch day is facilitated by one of the partner companies, and at each pitch day we have uh, between three and six companies uh, pitching their ideas. And then the steering committee takes uh, those uh, pitches and discuss what companies actually have a real uh, interest in the startups and then we can uh, initiate a discussion to launch a proof of concept project. And the last slide. This is the panel. Uh, so we have Per Olaf Marklund, which is head of technology and innovation at Saab Aeronautics, but also um, you are Saab, uh, whole Saab today. <laughs> today I'm the whole <laughs> Saab, yes. yes. <laughs> and then we have Ola Tiverman, who is uh, the head of product at uh, Embedel. Yep. You come from Gothenburg all the way today. We have Hans Larsson. He's a hybrid between Gothenburg and Mjölby from Toyota Material Handling Europe. And then we had Sajid Atikai from Dasuk in Linköping. So let me start with you, Per Olaf. Uh, I'm going to sit down because it feels more cozy to sit here. The great atmosphere here. Uh, when initiating uh, the collaboration of Index, what were your expectations uh, at Saab? Well, well uh, to, to start off, uh, we're a security and defense company. Uh, started out in 1937 and have a very, very long tradition of doing uh, equipment for the defense industry and, and uh, where I work, especially fighter jets. Um, the defense industry, uh, I would say, have been uh, a, a bit, uh, if, if I can say it myself, a bit conservative, uh, a bit sort of indrawn. Uh, but technology today in th that is needed in a fighter jet is something uh, that is probably more available on the open market than it is within the defense industry. So collaborating with startups and finding ideas that 
maybe is not used in the defense industry and apply them into our industry is, is key to be successful in the future. And, and regarding index in itself, um, I would say cooperating with, with three other companies that are vastly different from, from our industry. Uh, I mean, we, we, we got a logistics company, an agriculture company, a defense company, and, and uh, a maker of, of, of gas turbines. We don't have that much in common on paper, but if you look at the ideas that come in, we have a lot in common. Uh, and we always get new ideas from each other and sort of boost each other in, in, in this process. So, so uh, working with startups is one thing, uh, working within the concept of index is another thing where perhaps a startup that intended to apply for uh, Toyota material handling could be interested in for, for Saab, for example. That's really interesting. And, and how would you, what's your experience so far? What have this meant to? to Saab? Uh, uh, w one of our sort of main goals when we went into this is to find those ideas that we didn't know existed. Uh, that's sort of our, our, our mantra in this. Uh, of course, we have technology, the road maps and all this stuff. We, we know what we want to achieve, uh, but that is based on what we know. <laughs> uh, so, so it's always nice when you find those ideas that, uh, that we didn't think about. Uh, and I think we, we have found a couple of those within Index. Absolutely. Wonderful. Yeah. And you have been active in India for a long time, and we will get back to that yep. in a short while. So let's move over to Hans Larsson, Toyota Material Handling Europe. Yes. Uh, you are in the logistics uh, industry, and uh, could you also tell us a bit about how you were reasoning when entering the Index concept? Uh, we, we understood it's easy to say that startups needs to work with the big companies and big companies need to wor work with startups. Everyone says that, but we understood that we are ne not necessarily very easy to get in contact. We are a huge organization in Toyota, there are hundreds of thousands of people, so you don't just call Toyota. So we recognized that we need to find an entrance gate or, or a meeting place for startups where we can meet. And then we also understood that there are a few more companies in the region that the, uh, suffer from the same problem. So our expectations were re was really to create this marketplace, this entrance point where startup can apply and get in contact to be become more easy to get in contact with uh, and thus get more startups to apply to us. Yeah, and did you have any fortune in the index program? Uh, yes, yes, very much so. And the inflow has been uh, good. And uh, we have also been surprised a few times that a, f a few of the startups has really been spot on to the kind of innovations that we are searching and uh, having a groundbreaking technology that we can use for the future. So it's very positive results so far. We heard Per Olof mentioning about the collaboration between the corporates mm -hmm. also. What's your experience from that? I, it's exactly the same. Uh, and I stick to what he says. You, you can only act on the things that you know. And when we listen in to how different the different companies are evaluating the same startups, we get ideas how we can twist and turn and maybe use uh, that solution in another area that we didn't think of from the beginning. So it adds to us and we are still in a non-competitive environment, which is very good and we feel safe in that environment. Great. And I know that now that I, I forgot to introduce myself, I'm Lena Miranda, I'm the CEO of Lean Shopping Science Park. And we are one of the 30 incubators that Ulf Borbos was mentioning earlier today around Sweden, in, uh, innovation hubs, independent innovation hubs that facilitate cooperation between industry, academia and society in a wider range. And what Hans is saying here is also that we needed to attract talent to the region. Talent in terms of talents, but also in terms of startups and the no knowledge and know-how that they can contribute with to keep us uh, competitive on a global market. And that will be a great uh, 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 start of by introducing our startups here today, Embedel and Dazuk, and Ola Tiveman. Uh, you entered the index uh, concept this year with your startup and your solution. Could you tell us a little bit, first of all, about Embedel and what you do? Oh, well, I, I think that, I think that uh, Embedel entered last year, but I joined Embedel this year. So, 
so Embeddel, uh, we're a startup from Gothenburg, a spin out from uh, research in artificial intelligence at uh, Chalmers. So we are, are, what we do is that we make uh, uh, artificial intelligence based on deep learning um, uh, technology more efficient when it's uh, uh, executing on an embedded device, which is a computer that is somewhat limited, can be quite powerful but still limited. This is our, our area. So um, we uh, provide a software tool uh, around this and we um, make uh, it possible to automate this process, which is tedious and quite hard, and we are specialists in this area. Uh, and then we uh, can optimize and, and um, compress the neural network, so it's like huge uh, um, programs you can think of that needs to fit in a smaller device and still perform very well, uh, in, for example, in, in vision, uh, in autom um, in, uh, uh, car, uh, autonomous driving uh, type of things. Um, it needs to be uh, accurate, it needs to be uh, fast, so the latency of the response is, uh, needs, needs to be uh, correct. And then when we work with, uh, like your vehicles, they're even faster up there, so, so uh, yeah, there's definitely a need there. A lot of trade, o trade trade-offs, uh, super exciting area, and uh, I'm very happy to be uh, both here uh, today, thank you for that, and also to uh, join, uh, have joined the Embeddle uh, team in, in Gothenburg, they are great. And uh, uh, since you started after you <laughs> participated in the, in the event, yeah. uh, could you share some of the experience that your team had with working with Index? in the concept and what happened afterwards. Yeah, yeah. so, uh, um, uh, so I wasn't really there. So I can say like this, I only heard good about this, this, uh, this story. Uh, and I really liked the, this setup of index uh, with, as you mentioned, there is uh, five quite different companies, which means that you span quite broadly. Uh, that's very good for, uh, for startup uh, to, to be efficient to meet uh, to meet the industry players. As you say, it's, it is needed, everyone understands that, but it's, for a startup it's r super important to have it an efficient way to get in, in, in the right contact quickly without going under financially. You know. And uh, likewise, uh, it's uh, important for the big players uh, to get attract uh, startups because I think we make a difference for, for the big companies. And you actually attracted some interest when you did your pitch. Yes. What happened afterwards? Yeah, so uh, we have uh, made um, one uh, proof of concept project with uh, Saab Aeronautics. Uh, that, um, yeah, uh, yeah wha what, what we did there was uh, expanding a little bit what, um, yeah, to prove what was possible or what we thought was possible. Um, designing a, a proof of concept, which is a, a way of working that I very much uh, more and more like. It, it is the right thing, thing to do. We can come back to that perhaps. Um, so we defined this uh, proof of concept uh, and set up what are the key questions that we need uh, to verify, get, uh, get answers to, and started to working uh, together. Uh, it was a chance for us to show our capabilities with our product. Uh, it was a chance for us as a startup uh, to improve the product. Yeah, we, we needed to, to add some, some more there. Um, and it was a way to, uh, to, to start collaborating. And I think, um, yeah, the, the, it was a, a good, um, good project. Uh, everyone was happy with the, with the results, and we are uh, still working in, in sort of different ways to engage together with the Saber aer Aeronautics. So, did you learn any new things? Were there uh, insights that you gained during the project that you didn't know before? Yes, I mean it's always uh, uh, we don't do things where we know everything from, from start. That's, uh, that's in the nature of, of this. So I think the main um, 
gain from from Embeddel side is probably on, on the pure um, research side in, in in our team that we could improve our our, our, our uh, algorithms and and so on and to prove them uh, and and try them in a r real uh, real life case. Yeah. Yeah, and you mentioned to me the importance as a startup to be able to do the proof of concept project. Do you think there's a, a better phase in the startup cycle to do a proof of concept, or uh, what's your opinion? Yeah, I, I did think about that a, a, a bit, and I think uh, that it's probably good for any stage of a, a, a product life cycle of a startup to do a proof of concept. It's just that you need to adapt the, the proof of concept accordingly so that you uh, sort of place the right, the right questions. I mean, very early, then it is very much to proving on the uh, startup side that the, the product really is, is working. And then when you have uh, something that starts looking like a product and, and becomes a product, then it's more 50-50 perhaps to show that there is a case, a uh, business case that that works. And then uh, further down the line, it's, it's more to uh, um, uh, exploit new um, problem areas that you can expand and, and improve the, the value of the, of the product. Great. Uh, thank you very much. So, Sajid, yeah. uh, you are the CEO of Dazuk and the founder. Um, could you tell us uh, about your uh, experience with Index? How, how did you uh, find out about Index and uh, what has your journey been like? Yeah, uh, regarding Index, of course, uh, it was like we are, uh, Dazuki is part of lead business incubator and uh, also very close to Link Shopping Science Park where you are. And so through that only we learned about the Index process. And for us, in our case, like we are a company which is more aimed uh, towards uh, medium manufacturing industries. But in this case, like it's not because our solution is uh, not suitable for bigger industries. It was mainly because of uh, the time taken to reach bigger industries. Like Hans mentioned before, like it's not easy always for a startup to reach bigger com uh, companies. And this was the most idealistic thing which we can get. We got, uh, we like, I think we pitched one and a half uh, months before at uh, one of the index event and within two weeks I think we signed a proof of concept uh, with uh, one of the partner companies. Wow, index. that's a great time to market. But please tell us about Dazook and what you do. Yes, uh, so Dazook uh, is a link shopping based startup. It's a link shopping university spin-off uh, which helps manufacturing industries to reduce their energy use. So. Uh, we can call it as an intelligent energy management system for manufacturing industries. Uh, traditionally, energy management is either capital intensive or like it takes a lot of time to implement energy management. It could be years. But with Dazok's uh, energy intelligence system, what we aim for and what we are doing is that like industries can install our sensors and get running with energy management in just a couple of hours and they can save up to 20% of their electricity use. And we have already saved around 20% of energy use in few of the uh, few of our paying customers. And uh, we also think like uh, en in this energy transition, which is happening towards uh, renewable sources, there is even more need to monitor machine level energy use so that we have things in control and like it is al also related to industry four concept, which is also something index is about. So like in this perspective, it is really important for industries to monitor their machine level, level energy use so that they can have the high level, very granular level control of their energy use. Wonderful. And we actually met up at the pitch day in Väderstad uh, in September. And uh, we were about like 60 or 70 people in the room when you made your pitch. Yeah. And you say it took two weeks for the first proof of concept uh, to be, be signed. But I know there's more interest in your solution. Uh, yes. So we are also uh, in discussion with uh, Toyota and uh, also Väderstad. Uh, so uh, it's like even though we started out with uh, Siemens Energy, it's uh, also like uh, these companies collaborate very closely with each other. So 
if uh, we are doing well of course in one company it also means additional opportunities uh, in the other uh, big companies and as a startup uh, what is the uh, one of the biggest benefit here is that like that scariest resource for a startup is the time of its employees mm -hmm. so we can't spend it too much on single company so index provide a awesome platform to reach these bigger companies which is also in a validation by itself we get a lot of awesome feedback from them also so that we can tweak the solution and make it even better sounds amazing uh, thank you very much and uh, we're going to swap over to today's topic of india and i know you per olaf and saab you've been active on the indian market for decades and you have a huge interest in India. So you are actually the one inviting the rest of us to this table today. Absolutely. And uh, could you tell us about the cooperation with India? Today? Well, well, India is, of course, an, uh, a very interesting market for us uh, regarding many of our products within, within Saab um, and, and has been for a very, very long time. So, so I think the question is a bit twofold. Uh, one is, uh, of course, making business in India. Uh, and one really good way of doing that is, of course, cooperating with, with Indian companies. Uh, the, the other idea is uh, more, more from a technological and competence uh, point of view. Um, if, if, if you compare the number of startups in, in India uh, compared to the number of startups in Sweden, it, it's, it's in a whole different scale. Um, so getting to, to, to know the Indian startup market and finding those ideas that we didn't know exist uh, once again uh, could be extremely fruitful for us, both from a, a competence point of view, technological point of view, and in the future also from a, from a business point of view. Uh, so so uh, I, I would say that's one of the, the main reasons we are sitting here today, because uh, the acceleration of the Indian startup market is, is extremely interesting for us. Um, and, and we hope to gain uh, a lot of future knowledge from, from, from that side. Yeah, and I, I couldn't agree more. And I actually had the opportunity uh, in 2019 as the chairman of Swedish Incubators and Science Parks and also part of the Innovation Council held by the Prime Minister to participate in one of the delegation trips made by Sweden and Business Sweden. Um, and uh, I didn't really know very much about the Indian market and I was uh, blown away by what I saw uh, and uh, understanding and realizing the potential that many of the speakers today have touched upon uh, with uh, bridging uh, uh, a lot of the gaps uh, being very, uh, uh, very huge in India by using digitalization and how uh, much uh, of a market it is, like with the 1.4 billion people, uh, but also that we hear so much about uh, the investment in the innovation uh, infrastructure and also the sense of urgency when it comes to finding new sustainable solutions as India is expanding. So I couldn't agree more. And I think that the collaboration with Saab makes for a very good also bridging between the two countries and maybe uh, getting startups to have the right connections in India, but also Indian startups to get the, the right connections in Sweden. Absolutely. And, and uh, um, Dr. Sapna Putti mentioned this this morning that when she visited India and I actually got to meet her, um, one of the things she saw was the, the, the lack of hierarchy in Sweden. And that also, I think, is shown between companies here that we, we tend to cooperate a lot. And I think a, a, a collaboration like Index, for example, can be a really sort of uh, springboard into, uh, into Sweden and into Europe, since we're global companies. Mm -hmm. uh, and that can be also, from an Indian startup point of view, uh, you can get in contact with the right people in the right companies in Sweden and let that be a springboard into a sort of a global market for a, for a startup. Wonderful. Yeah. So uh, Hans, uh, Toyota, have you been working with the Indian market or what, what do you think after listening uh, to today's presentations? Uh, have it raised your interest in the Indian market? Uh, yeah, yeah. We, have, um, uh, we are working with India as a supplier to India, but not uh, on the other way around. And I feel a little bit like the kid the night before Christmas Eve here. I see uh, 
all possibilities and I think what uh, we work with the partner like Infosys and so we can see the tremendous power and the technology level that uh, they are on it's impressive and we can see all the uh, their network that uh, we can use and I think what we can offer is uh, as you say the network into Europe but we also have the biggest logistics players in the world so our network is really what we can offer to those companies so I think that there is something here that we definitely should connect and you are really amazing in doing that because you bring the startups to your uh, ecosystem in Europe and try to make new connections to actually uh, help the value chain of yeah. Toyota yeah uh, so anything more you would like to add or I'll change the perspective to Ola and, and Said. Yeah, so Ola, um, I know when we had the discussion before this panel, you were very excited to m know more about India and maybe join one of the delegation trips that is taking place next year. Yes, and uh, not only uh, I've never been to India, so that is one, one interest, of course. But the main one is, of course, uh, um, the business interest of uh, us as a startup and knowing that th there is a, a, a huge potential market out there uh, that we know very little ab about, at least me personally. However, our uh, co-founder, uh, Devdat Dubashi, uh, is from India, so he knows, and so it, it might help uh, so, so, some, of course. But um, yeah, so interesting market, uh, thinking uh, about the language as well, it should be uh, a bit easier with uh, English being relatively broad uh, there. Uh, and hearing today, uh, there were two things. I mean, one, one is the, the development that apparently has happened uh, just the last seven or so years. Uh, that was very inspiring. Uh, and then the second thing was related to this you have to be patient when doing business uh, with uh, Indian companies. And yeah, uh, I'm an <laughs> entrepreneur, so I'm not very patient by nature, perhaps. But <laughs> on the other hand, I understand that, that part. And I really liked the, uh, the approach that you should come to, to a company w and solve a problem rather than coming and try to sell a product. Uh, that's, that's the way uh, we, we always uh, try to work. So uh, yeah, let's see how that can... Oh, wonderful. Yep. And you also said to me that uh, we startups, we can help save the world, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was, I was thinking about the, the sustainability and, and also, by the way, the safety uh, uh, mentioned uh, in the previous panel here. Um, no, I, I think that to, to do, every, everyone needs to uh, contribute to, ma to make uh, the... Solve it, saving the planet when it comes to sustainability and climate and so on. And the role of a startup, uh, I think, is very much to come with uh, the innovations uh, and then combine with the big corporations that, uh, that can implement or make things uh, having a real dent and, and a make a real change uh, in, in, the, in the industry. I think that's, that's, that's important. And I think there are many ways of... Uh, I want to stress the... I mean, uh, automation in itself and optimization and so on, those things will indirectly also reduce uh, or improve the uh, resource utilization. So it's not only to save money, I mean, it, it, it will save the planet uh, as well. Yeah. Perfect. And Said, do you agree? Yep. Can you <laughs> help save the world? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because, yeah, we are directly working with um, reducing the energy use, uh, which means like, the best energy used y is the energy not used. So, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. And you are actually from India. And wh what, uh, are, what do you reflect upon after listening to today's presentations and, and the collaboration between Sweden and India celebrating 75 years? Um, what do you see from your horizon? Yeah, so I'm originally from India, from the one of the southernmost states called Kerala. So uh, I have come to Sweden in around 2017. And uh, yeah, of course, there was a lot of awesome stuff being mentioned in the panels uh, before. I just uh, I was just thinking about like maybe uh, regarding talent crisis uh, this because we are experiencing that. And, uh, you know, sometimes we jokingly say we're back in India, at least in my place, that like if you throw a stone up in the air, 
it might in a good probability fall on an engineer's head <laughs> <laughs> don't throw any stones in the air yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what i mean is that like uh, a closer cooperation between india and sweden like we might have much better answers uh, towards talent crisis uh, that's the just the point i want to add that's a very good point uh, so before closing up this panel is there anything anyone of you would like to add to the discussion I but hope we have inspired you. Maybe the audience? Yes, if there's a question. Yes? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, am I audible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, one question to Sajid. You mentioned about your software that measures the... In so what are the KPIs? I would be keen to know. Uh, regarding saving energy, you mean? Mm -hmm. So there are specific KPIs to be set by the companies itself, like some people or some companies try to take ratios between their production volume and energy use. So there are also carbon KPIs, like uh, what is the carbon emission per product line, for example. These are very important from the regulatory perspective also. So there are various uh, KPIs being used or uh, we have got provision within our software. Uh, yes, so we mainly address uh, UN Sustainability Development Goal 7 and 13. To be specific, 7.3 and 13.3. 7.3 regarding doubling energy efficiency. So, yeah, it's in line with uh, UN SDGs. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, we can discuss it maybe yeah. after this. So le let's make con contact between yes. the two of you. <laughs> so uh, can we have the last slide of the presentation? Because as we have uh, two more minutes, <coughs> we would, the next slide maybe, we would just like to uh, reach out to all uh, startups watching today, maybe online, maybe present here, that we have the ongoing application out online and the next uh, pitch event will be at the December 9th. Uh, and then we hopefully will go on in 2023. So we are trying to reach out to all the great startups within connectivity, automation, and <coughs> sustainability. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> let's give the panel a big applaud and thank you very much. Let's give you. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Index, and to Lena for this fantastic moderation. And are you hungry now? Yes. So what we have lined up for you is an earth-friendly lunch, Indian. <laughs> so that means it's vegetarian. And uh, it's from Indian Street Food that has just recently opened up also in Oslo. And they're really trying to bring more sustainability also into the space of food, which I think is a key or very important part because that's one area for us to mitigate. Um, uh, the huge, biggest potential for mitigation is, is working with food. So thank you once again. And uh, also want to thank Saab for their support uh, and for bringing such a great uh, group of speakers and this platform to India. Uh, I think this needs, this will get a lot of Indian startups really excited uh, to make this bridge. Um, so thank you once again. <laughs>